Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. I thought we'd tackle a complex numbers uh, word problem today. And uh, this might be a little bit difficult if you don't have a good background knowledge in complex numbers and vectors and uh, basic um, algebra. But uh, hopefully you guys can still have a go and uh, so just follow the instructions stated on the screen. Um, try to draw the three points on a complex number plane. Um, and then follow the instructions and then come back when you're done. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is show you guys what where the three points are and what it looks like when you join them up. Um, with straight lines. So the best way to do that I guess is GeoGebra. So open up GeoGebra and if you're wondering how I got the grid lines basically you just right click on the background and choose graphics and go into grid and you can set the grid lines over here so just put those options in. Okay so we're gonna enter the three numbers we have 5 minus 5i and we have 5 minus 2i and the third one is negative 5 plus 2i so put those numbers in and you will see that if we join up the three points using um, the segment tool interval between two points should so join them together and you can see that we have a triangle so that's pretty cool and now we want to find find the area of the shape formed so we want to find the area inside the shape and because it is a triangle, the area of a triangle is base times perpendicular height. So if we treat this side as the base and this side as the height, okay, basically the area is just 3 times 10, which is 30, base times height, so 3 times 10, that's 30, divided by 2, so that's 15. So we already know what the answer is. All right, pretty simple. Okay, but the question is, how do we know? Um, how do we know uh, that this side is three and this side is five um, without drawing the diagram? Okay, because you need to show algebraic proof of everything. Okay, so let's have a look at the length of the base. Now, because Z1 and Z2 are both um, complex numbers, what we can do is we can simply do Z2 minus Z1 and find out what the difference is, and that will give you um, the line from Z2 to Z1 or vice versa. So basically if we get Z2 minus Z1 so let's copy the three definitions back. Z1 is 5 minus 5i Z2 is 5 minus 2i and Z3 is negative 5 plus 2i. If we go Z1 or Z2 minus Z1 you will get 5 minus 5i oh sorry 5 minus 2i minus Z1 that's 5 minus 5i so that's 5 minus 5 minus 2i plus 5i 
So the answer is 3i. And if you find the magnitude of that line, magnitude of z2 minus z1, that's just uh, 3 squared, square root, so that's just 3. Okay, because there is no real component. So the magnitude is just 3. So that's the magnitude of this line here. And now we want the um, height, perpendicular height of this triangle, which is basically the real component of Z2 to Z3. So all you have to do is to find the real component of um, Z2 to Z3 actually Z2 to Z3 so let's go Z3 minus Z2 okay so let's put in um, negative 5 plus 2i minus 5 minus 2i so that's negative 5 plus 2i uh, minus 5 plus 2i so that is negative 10 plus 4i now we only want the real component of all of this okay so we only want the real component so I'm gonna write real so therefore the answer is just negative 10 Right, because the real component means that we ignore we ignore anything with i after it. Right? We ignore the complex number part. Well we ignore the imaginary part. So therefore the answer is just negative ten. So that means if I'm traveling from Z two to Z three, um the length is ten units because we're going negative ten means ten units in the left direction okay so the answer is just 10 so the area of the triangle is just base times height divided by 2 right and the base is 3 and the height is 10 divided by 2 so that's 15 uh, units squared okay thanks for watching guys see you next time